Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali. if you're new to my channel and welcome to Beauty With A Purpose. So of course, today I have for you guys my BoxyCharm unboxing. Um, I have to say, I wasn't really happy with this month's box. I don't mind it now because I'm like, you know what? I am going to run out of these products, but I still, <sighs> I got BoxyCharm so I wouldn't have to buy makeup. And I didn't think that, um, so they did it last so for the month of January, your choice was they let you choose between either an eyeshadow palette or an eye cream. For those of us who felt like we had too many eyeshadow palettes, I'm really feeling like I should have just chose the eyeshadow palette because I feel like that was a way of them trying to figure out like who can we just get rid of all of our skincare stuff to. And yeah, so anyways, we're going to go ahead and get into this and I will show you my box. This month's um, theme was Breaking the Eyes. I got variation at number nine. And this is how sad my box looks. Yeah. So I wasn't very happy because it was literally all skincare and like two makeup products, which on my like, you know, like a little questionnaire. It's like, what do you want more of? More skincare, a little bit of both. I have more makeup, less skincare, and I got more skincare and less makeup in this box. So I decided that from now on, I'm gonna just pick the makeup choice. And if I get skincare, I do. If I get skincare, I don't. Or I'll choose skincare when I'm running out of whatever. So like I said, I actually am going to end up running out of these products pretty soon. So the more I sat on the box and thought about the box and when I was doing my morning skincare yesterday, I was like, you know what? I am running low on just about every product that I got in my box. So I shouldn't really be that upset, but when you're looking forward to a whole bunch of makeup because that's what your profile says, like it is kind of upsetting at first. So the first thing on the box that I got, and you will see demos of me applying all of this, is the Pretty Vulgar Undercover Concealer. And you can see the shade. This is what the doe foot looks like. And we're just going to read a little bit about the concealer now. Undercover Concealer is a lightweight gel serum concealer formulated to be hydrating, buildable, and provide medium coverage with a natural, flawless finish. Infused with vitamin E and galactroarabinin are our binin to keep the skin moisturized and to rejuvenate and improve the skin's appearance. The angled doe foot applicator is easy to use and precisely applies a velvety soft formula to visibly brighten the complexion and cover dark circles. This blendable long wearing concealer is a is great for all skin types. So first let me say this. <clears throat> they sent me a shade that was way too dark for me. And since it is way too dark for me, all I can do is cover dark spots, dark circles. And I'm not gonna, the, the, the finish is pretty, and I'm glad that I read this because I was gonna say like, the cover, it, the coverage is super natural, like it's pretty sheer, but now that I see that it is blendable, the next time that I use it, I will try to blend it up just a little bit over like my breakouts and stuff, because I felt like when I put it on my breakouts, and then I went to blend it out with my sponge, like it just blended away. And so I was like, mm, nah, nope. And so, but yeah, now that I know that it is supposed to be like coverage and whatnot, like I don't mind it. Um, but like I said, they did send me the wrong shade, so I couldn't even use this on top of my makeup. This is going to have to be for only color correcting for me. And this retails for $25. Okay, the next thing I got, and this was the choice that I chose, is the Dr. Brandt Skin Care 24-7 Retinol Eye Cream. And you will be looking at it right now. This is just what the packaging that looks like. Really, really cute and pretty. And this says, all eyes are on you with this patent yet gentle light, reflect light reflecting and age defying eye cream. A perfect combination of retinol and ruby crystal complex that gives your eyes the attention they deserve. I did like the way that this felt under on my under eyes this morning when I used it. Of course, I haven't used it for a long period of time, so I don't know if it's actually going to do anything. 
but I will say that it did feel nice underneath my eyes. And this retails for $55. 55 doll hairs. Okay, the next thing I got was this Skin and Company Roma Truffle Therapy Face Gamage. And this actually smells really good. It smells a little bit strong like coconuts. Um, not coconuts, but just like something tropical, I should say. <laughs> and this says, a delicate exfoliating cream with a rich texture. I do agree with that. And a soothing fragrance. I agree with that. Truffle Therapy Face Gamage is a lush formula combining the best of iconic Mediterranean lifestyle and the luxury Italian spa experience. A beauty cabinet staple, the Truffle Therapy Face Gamage features a sweet almond oil, gentle apricot seed powder, and our unique and exclusive Black Winter Truffle Extract, which has a high concentration of super, of super oxide dismutase, dis, dismutase, a powerful free radical scavenger that reduces the signs of aging. Gently buff away and erase dull, lackluster skin, reveal, revealing a more luminous and healthy complexion. I do agree with that. It does have a rich, creamy texture, and I did like the way it felt. But it has, like, the bigger chunks of exfoliators. So whenever I read my, micro exfoliating, I was expecting it to be, like, the microdermabrasion by Dr. Brandt, but it's not like that. It's more literally, like, not as rough as or harsh, but, like, the St. Ives apricot face scrub it's like in between the St. Ives and the microdermabrasion if that makes sense so it does feel nice it does feel hydrating and I did I did feel like my my skin was super duper glowy after I used it and this actually re retails for $28 so it's actually cheaper than the Dr. Brandt one and you get more Okay, so the next thing that I got was this Avant Skincare 8-Hour Radiance Renewal Sleeping Mask. For the purpose of this video, I used it this morning so that way you guys could see the application. I will definitely have to use it at nighttime and keep you guys updated with it. But um, I am going to wait to, to start using this except for, the except for the demo portion because I do have my Dr. Brandt um, sleeping mask that I'm currently going through right now. Wow, I've ended up with a lot of Dr. Brandt skincare this year. And so, well, not this year, but over these past few months between Ipsy and BoxyCharm, I almost have a full face of skincare. And so, what? That doesn't make sense. All skincare goes all over your face. But I have an eye cream, a sleeping mask, um, and the microdermabrasion thing now, from all from Dr. Brent. And so, anyways, this says, the 8-Hour Radiance Renewal Sleeping Mask works to reveal more youthful and beautiful skin overnight. It also helps to tighten the skin and lessen the appearance of wrinkle, wrinkles and fine lines. Now, this is where all the big bucks come from in this box because this little thing right here retails for $107. And that's when my sister was like, you know, you can't really be mad at your box because one little tube that she got alone is $107. But I'm like... But yes, I can be mad at the box because if I really like this sleeping mask, I don't have $107 to go spend on it. But I'm really glad that I do get to try it out for basically for free. I paid it $27 for this box. That exceeds, like, the box was paid for at the Pretty Vulgar Concealer. You know what I mean? And so, yeah, so that that is pretty awesome. I will give her that. So, like I said, that retails for $107. And last but not least, I got this Mana Kadar Beauty Lip Whip. And I got mine in the shade, wow, this is my sister's name, Faith. And this is just, a this is a really pretty shade. And I had blended it out like with my finger, like I dabbed it out the day that I got it in the mail. And whenever I did that, um, I like, it was hard to get off. Like I had to take a shower and scrub with my loofah to get this off. So I can only imagine how well this is gonna last on your lips. And so it says a matte lip color that is whipped to perfection, easy to apply and formulated with a long lasting pigments that don't dry out your lips. I will agree with that. The spot on my hand, it never felt dry or cracky. And at, by the end of the day, it kind of looked like it would stain your lips if it did wear off. And so I was pleased with that. And that retails, so this little lipstick refill, retails for $21. And so, 20 Doing the math in my head, I believe the overall value of this box is 136 
If it's not, I will put it on, I'll put it on the screen regardless. But yes, I believe the overall total of the value is of this box is 136, which is good because that's like, I believe it's good. I believe it's great. I love it. Wait, 236, not 136, 236. So $236. And so that's pretty awesome. Like I said, skincare is expensive. So at the end of the day, I did end up loving my box and just coming to terms with everything. And so, like I said, I love my box, you guys. If you don't know, if you're kind of just watching this, this video because you're like, oh, I see these videos everywhere. Well, BoxyCharm is a monthly subscription that you pay for. They have a base box, a premium, a premium box, and Boxy Lux, which is usually combined with your base box. So with Boxy Lux, every quarter you will be charged um, $50 for your, for your monthly subscription and you get a bigger box. It's either an additional 50 or just 50. I believe it's $50 and you will be charged and you will receive a bigger box every quarter. And then on the on the months where it's not the boxy lux month, you'll just receive the base base box which is excuse me, 27 20 it comes out to $27 at least for me and where I live with shipping. It comes out to $27 a month for me and your value is always guaranteed $135 in the box and it goes up with the box that you receive. So there's also the premium box, which is $35 a month, which I would only imagine come out to $37 after taxes and shipping. And so, yeah, I hope that you guys, uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you are thinking about the box, just remember to be very specific. And I actually went in and corrected my skin tone shades. So that way the next time I get a complexion product, maybe it won't be too dark. Like I feel like that was a me issue, maybe not a them issue because they do go only based off of your um off of your profile so be very specific if you do sign up for this box for your profile um for your preferences and things like that and like i said if you're wanting more makeup be sure on the choice to pick the makeup item like i said i am excited kind of now that i realize that i am going to run out of all these facial products soon now that i and now i have backups for whenever i do run out so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did please go ahead and give me a thumbs up leave a couple comments down below and let me know any more video suggestions or what i should try out also go ahead and hit that subscribe button i love you guys always remember that jesus loves you more and i will see you guys in the next video bye Mwah.